Hello, what is up guys? Today we will be going over some introduction to financial math practice questions. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Uh, the last video on this did quite well, so I thought that I'd just make another one because I felt like this was in a bit of demand. So during the winter quarter, the student dining service sells an average of 325 portions of hot chocolate per day. The hot chocolate mix comes in containers of 130 ounces each. A serving requires four ounce mix. How many containers are used on an average day? I just retyped this, the question underneath on top just so that you guys could read it more clearly because it came up in terrible quality, as you can see with these answer choices over here. So anyways, now back to the math. So a hot the hot chocolate mix comes in containers 130 ounces each and a serving requires four ounces of mix. So a serving, I don't really like the terminology that they used here, but each serving, which is four ounces, and now there are 325 of these servings. The portion just refers to the serving in this case. So 325 times 4, I would have to do this. Now, it comes in containers of 130 ounces each. So now I'd have to divide this by 130 to see how many containers I would have to use, right? Because I take my number of the total. This is equal to the total ounces, the total ounces, total ounces over the container over the container um, carrying ounces, container carrying ounces, right? To see how many containers I would need to use, container carrying ounces. So this is equal to 325 times four, is 325 times four, is 1,300 over 130, which is equal to 10. So we would just need 10 containers. You, um, normally you just do this question a lot faster, right? Just four times 325 over 130. I just kind of want to underline things and explain it step by step. These tests do go by very quickly. The next question is approximate sales are $35,000. Approximate cost of goods sold are $6,500. Warranty expenses are approximately $3,500. Salaries are exactly $15,125. And taxes paid are exactly $1,125. What is the profit? So for one, we can instantly rule out option C and option D because it's not going to be exactly because our sales are approximate and sales are part of profit. So it's between these two, 15,000 and 8,750. So we can do this. We have 35,000 in sales and this is our sale profit. Now we have to subtract our cost of good. So let me just do add and let me just do a subtract column over here and then I'll just do it all on my calculator. They will give you a calculator for this test, at least in my experience. Warranty expenses are approximately 3500 so this is an expense. If you see the word expense, it's you almost always not going to be profit. Salaries are exactly $15,125. Again, this is an expense. You have to pay your employees. And taxes paid are exactly $1,125. So one, one, two, five. So we have 35000 minus all of this. 35000 minus 6500 plus 3500 plus 15,125, plus 1125. This is equal to, let me just make sure I've typed in everything correctly. This means we make approximately $8,750 in profit. Uh, you can verify that on your calculator. I just did 3,500 subtracted by all of these expenses, all of these expenses. Now, the next question, sorry, I didn't quite, um, um, re-put text on top of this just because it's a pretty short question. So to prove that multiplication is correct, you would... So now the first option is divide the quotient by one of the multipliers. Option B is multiply the product by one of the multipliers. Option C is divide the product by one of the multipliers. And option D is multiply the quotient by one of the multipliers. Well, to prove that mul multiplication is correct, in an algebraic sense, we can just do A times B equals C. So now to prove that it's correct, we can do A equals C over B. This is the same thing as saying five times five, five times seven equals 35. Now to prove that uh, equals 30, why, why did I write 36? 35 equals 35. And I can, to prove that this is, to just check if this is correct, I can do seven uh, equals 35 over five. So in this case, five would be A, seven would be B, and 35 would be C, right? So now this would be, so this would be dividing the product because our product in this case is 35 and our multipliers are five and seven. So this is C. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I will be making a part two. Goodbye.